Hi everybody, welcome back. Something totally, totally different today. Behind me is my running club t-shirt. I run um, with a running club called High Runners. Um, and this is this is the kit. This is what we um, wear when we go out for races, go out for training. Um, I've got quite a lot of medals um, and I wanted to make a new hanger for my medals. Um, so I've had this idea. I'm going to um, make quite a few of them because I've got some other friends who um, would like some like them as well and I'm going to make them with this design so this kind of bluey purpley colour and then this reddy orange so um, I've got some laminate boards uh, wooden boards floorboards and I've cut them in half I've primed them and I've just taped off some diagonals like this um, so they're the same width, the same gap. I'll show you in a second. Um, so I'm going to basically do some fluid art logo on these pieces of wood um, as the first step to creating middle hangers. Um, so let me show you the colours. So this is the piece of wood. You can see it's a floorboard because you can see it's got an indentation there and a, and a um, ridge there. So they clip in together. Um, if I show you the back, you can visualise it more. Um, so that's the underside of the floorboard. So I've primed it with gesso, so it's white and um, a bit chalky. And then I've drawn and then put some frog tape on where I want the, the marks to go. So if you imagine this bit here is going to be blue, this is red, this is going to be blue, this is red, and there to there is going to be blue. So I'm going to do the red sections first, so here and here. And these are the colours I'm using. This colour here, let me show you up against the T-shirt is really really similar to that red so this is pyrrole red um, by amsterdam so with the majority of the red section i'm going to do with that red but because it's fluid art i need some contrast so i'm going to add, add a hint of amsterdam permanent blue violet of bronze of carmine yep and pebio studio acrylics iridescent orange yellow so just a hint of those so I'm going to layer the colours on in a line. I'll probably do a base coat and then a line. And then I'm going to blow it out like a ribbon Dutch pour. Um, and the paints, they're already here. Um, they're all mixed uh, to my Dutch pour consistency. I'll put the recipe in the description of the video. I've just been practicing. I've just done probably about eight attempts on another board and kept swat, kept wiping it, scraping it because I just wasn't happy. Um, I tried, uh, what did I try? Dutch pour styles. I tried blooms. The um, technique I preferred the most was a swipe. So what I'm going to do is swipe with cell activator. So I'm going to put the base colour down. I've actually just thickened the colours up slightly. So they're now slightly thicker than Dutch pour consistency. So I put some red down drizzle on a little bit of the purple, orange and bronze. I'm taking out the other red and then swipe. So I'm going to get some plastic laminated paper and I'm just going to swipe across with cell activator like that, clean it and then swipe again. That's my that's my grand plan um, because everything else isn't isn't working so well. So um, I don't want too much paint. So I think I'm just going to put a, a, a thin ish base layer down to start with. Right, that's the base layer. And then I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of this on top. So not a lot, just a few little drizzles, just to give a bit of extra contrast. Just a bit of variation. Right, so I've got my cell activator here. So this is mixed with um, Australian Floatrol and Amsterdam white paint. So as you can see, I'm just putting a little bit along the edge there. And I'm going to place it along this diagonal and then swipe across. Okay. 
think I had too much on then. So I'm going to go again on the other bit, but with just a bit less. So they're all dry now. Um, I just wanted to show you this one. This is the one that I filmed um, creating. So I put the swipe, the swiping material on the side and swiped across. Can you see how it's just gone really splodgy, really massive, massive cells? And I had a feeling it was something to do with the bronze. So um, what I actually did off camera was swipe, wipe them all again and recreate them. So actually, instead of swiping um, across this way, I swiped up and then down and then up. So in a kind of zigzag, there's no bronze in any of them now. And I, that's made a massive difference. So I've really managed to get the beautiful lacing and the cells that I wanted. So I wiped, swiped, I scraped all of these, apart from this one, which I just missed, and then created these ones instead, but didn't do it on camera. I was getting so frustrated with them. I just, I did it off camera. Um, so now I'm ready to take off the tape um, to reveal what is underneath um, so it's bled just a little bit onto that white that's fine though um, so what I will be doing next is putting tape on the red and then pouring on the blue with that so I've got a nice crisp edge there so I'll put the tape on here next and then pour the blue so I've got a really nice red but kind of mixed effect I didn't want just red I wanted some variety to um, give it some, some contrast so I'm now ready to start the second part I've put some frog tape now over the red parts because I want to protect those. Um, and then I've actually just got some of my varnish um, and just wiped it along the edges. Um, and my hope is that that will just totally seal that edge so that when I now pour the blue onto it, it's not going to seep underneath. I think it will work. I think that should protect it enough. There is a chance that it's going to cause a slight ridge where the varnish is on, the, on this bit, but I don't really think that will matter. I really want to just protect the red as much as I possibly can. Um, so yeah, the back is still really scruffy. I've wrapped the tape around. Um, that will all be finished off afterwards. I just want to concentrate just on the very, very surface. I've mixed up my ultramarine blue. Um, it's I think it's a perfect colour match for the, the colour of the t-shirt. But if you look at the t-shirt, it's got a slightly purpley tinge to the blue. So I'm gonna add a little bit of permanent blue violet to it. I've got some pearl white and I've got some De La Rowney uh, graduate acrylic metallic blue just to give a little bit of contrast and variation. So I swiped these panels. I'd quite like to do something different for the for the, the blue. So my thoughts, my thinking is that I'm going to do again, try the um, the ribbon Dutch pour like I was trying originally with the red that didn't work because I think that would just look pretty with, with the contrast of the red but it didn't work before. So I'm just trying to think how I could do it differently where I think it would work. I think my blue's a bit thick still, so I'm just gonna add some more water. I don't normally use this blue. Which one did I use? It's this um, dark ultramarine blue, Royal and Lang Nickel. Um, I, I rarely, rarely use it. So I would mix it. I've mixed it the same as I mixed all my other Dutch pour paints, but it's just coming out after a bit, a bit thicker. That feels better now. Just that bit more fluid. Right, so let's have a bit of an experiment. This panel is the panel that I did. I forgot to swipe the correct way. So this is going to be my practice one. I've so I've taped it off as, as like like the other ones, but I think this will be my practice one. So if I just put a bit down, a bit of the blue down, create a base.
Right, I think I'm actually really happy with this. You've got some beautiful lacing where, where the white has blown over the blue. It's looking really pretty. And where the, where the metallics are blowing over the blue, you've got some really, really pretty lacing. I think I've probably got a bit too much blue. So I think I'm just going to go for a thinner line. I think instead of pouring it from my bottles, I might instead um, put it on with a stick. I think that might be better. So my metal hangers are now all finished. I have done 14 of these. Um, so they have been a labor of love. I've loved making them, but wow, I'm glad they're finished. Um, so let me show you up close. So first thing I did is I put a layer of resin on it. So you can just see how beautiful, it's just like glass. It's absolutely beautiful effect. So I did one layer of resin. Then I've got a Cricut machine and I used that to cut out the lettering and stuck that on. Then I've done another two layers of resin. I wouldn't normally do that much, but um, it just wasn't, it, yeah, it just needed smoothing. It just wasn't perfect. I've added some sparkle to my resin. Can you see that? It's not very easy to show you on here. Not really sure. Let me just put the overhead light on and see if that helps. There you go. Can you see the spark? You can certainly see it in the blue. It's really, really sparkly, really pretty. Um, I drilled, well, my husband drilled little, t little tiny holes through the resin. And then when I screwed in these little white hooks and then on the back to finish it, I put some um, self-adhesive cork backing and two of these um, hooks. So the idea is you can just um, put that on to the wall. So that if there's two um, screws in the wall or two picture hooks in the wall. Uh, so they've all got different writing. The, so the, for the friends um, who I knew who, who were having these metal hangers, I asked them what they wanted. So for some of them, they're really personal, not these ones, actually. Oh, actually, this one, Jenna. Yeah, Jenna ran a marathon. She ran London Marathon yesterday. Um, so actually, yeah, really personal to Jenna. Um, and then, yeah, some other messages. Dare to begin. That's from um, a lovely friend of mine. That's her little saying. Um, so, yeah, really happy with them. Um, really pleased. Glad they are finished. So this is very random. This is in my downstairs toilet, but this is my medal. Every uh, medal hanger, every medal tells a story, which I think is just such a nice saying. Um, and then these are just uh, some of my medals, some of my um, bigger running medals or longer distances, more important medals. So yeah, really, really pleased. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Slightly alternative um, use of fluid art, but I've really enjoyed making them. Great, thanks for watching. Bye.